I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlon, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. Fuck you, Lewis! He's a little kid, so shut your fucking mouth! Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. We can forgive them. Murderers, even some monsters, they get a second chance. Some monsters, not all. When bad people, like murderers, try to make it right, that's when other people forgive them. That sounds hard. It is. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> For God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch! Get back! Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? <laughs> What is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. How can you ask me that? What you did is completely different. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you mad at all. I had to do it. I said I'm sorry. I had to. Oh, okay. I love you, Clem. I love you back.
Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. No, firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial will start it soon. See you out there. <sighs> this is going to be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. <sighs> Almost dead. They'll live if we water them. No, they still die. Once you bring them inside, they only get a few days. Oh. <laughs> At least these won't die. <laughs> still cool. Time to go? Soon. <sighs> Ready? I did that. Come on. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tune said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to say goodbye to someone you've lost. <sighs> but they're dead. Brody. This is your last chance to see them before they're gone forever. I made them all sad, like if someone took you away. 
Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters. Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. You're right, Mitch. Marlin didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. Please, don't do this. I know you're angry, but You me don't know shit! If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. You need to handle your feelings. Get them under control. 
I know, or I'll make mistakes. Exactly. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? What I said before was wrong. Or maybe I said it in the wrong way. I should have prepared you better. I don't blame you. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and... Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. <sighs> Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <clears throat>
Will we get another car? Probably not. You got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Don't pretend you give a shit. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. If you really feel that way, take us back. Don't let them kick us out. I can't, Clem. Half of them are convinced you're as bad as Marlin or worse. If you came back, someone else might get hurt. I... I can't risk it, I'm sorry. Still got that gun? Just... try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. I don't know. I'll do everything to keep you safe. I'll keep you safe, too. Hide! Now come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. I thought he died. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. aren't you? Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlin. <sighs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. If I go back, they'll kill me. And him. And probably both of you. She's lying. Has to be. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. 
Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. I don't give a fuck who you are, you evil bitch! What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. Maybe, but you'll die first. Brave, but stupid. I'm surprised you made it this far. You need a better plan than just killing your enemies. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way... I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run!
Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. There. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. She's just gonna patch you up. Oh. It's enough. For now. Oh, easy. Easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, probably. Shit. to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. 
Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Thank you. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine. If you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. Noble of you, despite their treatment. I'll help you get back, past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Hurts. Hang on. 
We're almost there. Walker! Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Not ready. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit! Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. And Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand, we push, we push through it. We don't let it take over. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I wanted to help you, but when you told us to run, I had to trust you. Thank you for protecting us. It was really brave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, She's horrible. She always has been. Her dad was a racist asshole, and she defended everything he did. Great. As if we didn't have more than enough dickheads already. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Willie said someone was with you at the gates. James. 
He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You let him write to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something? He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. <sighs> wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. We've got good strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those raiders are getting ready to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation.
See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. But shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. You first, Mitch. No. See, because the people back home want me to survive this little trip. Let's just get the stuff we need. Okay? Just go. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. 
Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Some mushrooms are edible. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? <laughs> totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. There's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on, help me move this thing. Okay. Let's see what's inside. Rose! What's going on? You all right? We well, had a scare, that's all. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. God. She looks. Barely recognize her. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, 
local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Mitch, is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. A bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Uh, here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We can burn it. No! Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her! It's a walker! Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard, back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a, a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when 
you know. Where did you get those? They were tens, back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlon, he... Forget it. I should go. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. I'll get over it. You should control it. Being mad. You're right. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. Wonder how long it'll last. <gasps> nice. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah. But it would still look good on you. Hey, look! It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. <sighs> I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hmm, this one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries? <sighs> Bang.
AJ? Where are you? You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. I've never seen that knife before. Did you make it? When? I don't know, while you were busy. It must have taken days. I couldn't stop thinking about it until I made it. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. Not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm going to help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah. Come on up. I I'm not scared. Just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? Mm -hmm. 
AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. What are you doing down there, Rosie? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? <laughs> I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Ms. Martin, thanks for protecting everyone. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Hey. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. Just need more time. Alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. 
Oh, right. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Place looks ready for a war. Pretty clear message. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready for this. Really? Really. The school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid! Oh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! I'm trying to help! Uh, Sim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> what the shit?! Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. 
Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... A sim. I, uh... Thanks? I don't think you're his type. He's into redheads. Dude! Shut up! <laughs> I would, um... Flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip! flip. Ruby. <laughs> what? Sorry! I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. Boy from the woods! I'll try to shed a tear for the poor boy none of us met, who's probably just a figment of Clem's imagination. No, he's not. I met him. Well, now he's dead. Poor dude. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like like? Seriously? Like like? What are you, six? <sighs> yeah. I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh! oh who is it? <laughs> nope. Not telling. It could be anyone. Mitch, Ruby, or a sim. You know, since she said she'd marry you and all. I, uh... You're nice enough, Clementine, but I don't think... Please stop. <laughs> A sim. You've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because... The world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers. Like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. 
I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person. So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. You ready for a climb? It looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? Okay, fair. Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. Now I'm thinking about chicken nuggets. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. We always got them on Sundays. There was no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible study, so fast food. Man, I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Barbed wire, traps, weapons, it's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. Why didn't you? Sorry, I know that puts you on the spot. Why would I go anywhere else? If you're here, I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down without falling to your death. If I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign. 
right? It determines your personality? That's astrology, not astronomy. Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. Right. Now it needs a personality. Right. Pretty. Good with other people. Always moving. Tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. The energy one is easy. Good with people. Not so much. That's AJ. Wherever I look, there he is. Taking up all my attention. And I love him for it. He's getting better around other people. You're doing good with him. Next up. I spy with my eye a knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. Awesome. Mm, this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. Someone you want with you in a fight. Doesn't take crap from anyone. Gets shit done. Sounds just like you. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay, one more time. I found a bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A bird is free. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset. It's all of us. Everyone here wishes they could fly away from all of this. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just talk so much. It's just, I've watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did, and now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um... Shit. That sounds much dumber when I say it out loud. Uh, I think... I mean, I hope... We're more than friends. And I want... Mm. Holy shit. That's romantic. I mean, holy shit. Shit sticks. Probably time for your lookout shift. Ready? Yeah. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shitfuck. Whoa. 
That's a little much, don't you think? Well, I do. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. AJ, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlin? It's just because you should never think about killing like that. There's 12 of them now. But what if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. AJ, I said no. Come on. You won't always be able to tell me no. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't mean it. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. They finally show up? Yeah. Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. We're gonna make those assholes right. Ah, right. Oh, oh, no. Fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! <laughs> I know you are here. No! Open up, kid! It doesn't have to get any uglier! My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. You <laughs> don't have much time! Go! <laughs> It's okay. Just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Lily! Move and I'll shoot! You won't get the chance! Where's our new recruits? 
But they're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine. And then we'll take them. And you. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. Don't. Don't ever say his name. I knew Lee better than- Ever! Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can. I just want them back. Please. Don't listen to her, Ten. You know she's lying. She stole your sisters. She took them away from you. From their home. A nice little chat, you and me, alone. Ah! Fucking bitch! Clem, I can't. Stay back! Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, 
Afraid? And still alive? Well, bet a lot of folks died to get you here. Should be easy. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting. I'm sorry for trusting her.
<laughs> they took them. Asim and Omar and... God damn it, Lewis. I know. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. But we don't. Well, we've got someone who does. Ugh. <sighs>